Hello everyone and welcome back to another Blade and Sorcery tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to best set up your recording to get the optimal settings from Blade and Sorcery so you too can make some fantastic videos. Let's dive right in. For input capture, I'm using OBS. And for right now, just so I'm showing you, I'm gonna be using display capture. That one is just gonna record my background. But this is how you're essentially gonna set your scene up right here. You're gonna have audio input, audio output, and game capture set up. So what you wanna make sure is in your audio input, I'll double click on that after I've added it. And to add it, I'm pressing the plus button. And I can select from here, audio input, audio output, and game capture. Those should be the three things you're focused on. But you'll go to audio input by double clicking and you'll see that I have my microphone turned on for this one. That's what you want to make sure. Same thing for audio output. I like to keep this one also for my headset. This way no other external uh, volume can come into my headphones that I don't want. So if you're having your game audio come from external speakers, you may not want to do that because your microphone might pick that up and it's something to avoid. Now the next part of this one is showing you how to set up game capture and that one makes it a little difficult in this video. So let's use some imagination. I'm gonna double click on game capture and right here you're gonna see what I have selected. So if I had blade and sorcery running, I'm gonna make sure for mode, I'm gonna select capture specific window. I'm going to find that window which is the second box, select that one and your game will pop up here. Now I cannot select it for you now for two reasons. Reason one, I don't have the game running yet. And reason two, if I selected it right now, it's gonna overwrite my screen input and I wouldn't be able to show you things. However, this is exactly what you're going to select. Let's go ahead and drag this over here and increase this little window so we can see some more stuff going on here. Now, for those that make the inevitable sin and you're gonna forget about this one, what I want you to do is go ahead to capture cursor. Make sure that is not on. No one likes to see the mouse on the screen. I've had it in some of my older videos and didn't really know how to get rid of it. This is how you get rid of it. You make sure you go to mode, capture specific window, and make sure you know what that window is. Make sure that it says window tile must match. From there, turn off your capture cursor, like I said, no one wants to see it. Now let's also talk about audio input. And this is very important as well too. If you look at my audio input under audio mixer right over here, this is referred to as decibels. I have my input microphone at negative 8.7 and the in-game audio at negative 22.8 decibels for a couple of reasons. This is what I, I like playing around with. The in-game volume is not too loud where it drowns out my microphone and it's not too quiet where you cannot hear it. And you'll also see that when I'm speaking, I'm in the green over here. The way audio works is the louder I get, the more you will see in that audio box. And the quieter I get, it's obviously going to be lower. You'll know when you're doing things poorly is when your microphone starts to peak. And what peaking means, it means it's hitting this yellow area. And red just means it's going to go into some high-pitched, terrible noise. So I'm not going to do it right now and blow up your brain. But make sure you have this perfectly set with the microphone not too far away from your throat. Uh, not inside your mouth because no one wants to hear that, but almost below your chin, right from where you're going to be speaking from. And you want to do this one. You're not going to be able to see what's going on in your audio in game. So you're not going to tell if it's peaking. So I've done the heavy lifting for you with my microphone. Just keep that in mind. But this is my heavy lifting settings. Okay, that's enough with OBS. Let's move into Blade and Sorcery so I could show you how you can set up in game and not make some critical mistakes. All right, so here we are in the Blade and Sorcery main startup screen. And here is what you are going to do on your computer. This is going to look a little strange because I'm going to walk towards my character. On your computer, you're going to see something in the very bottom left-hand corner that you may not be able to see right now because I'm in VR. But basically, Blade and Sorcery has different console commands. So you could press F4 to bring up those console commands. Those console commands can do things like set performance in your HMD, spectator view. It can give you a whole bunch of other things. But here's what I want you to do. You're going to press F4 a couple of times until the logos and everything completely disappear from your screen. Yay, now we don't have logos on the screen. However, this is super important. Do not record without this one. Otherwise, no one will watch you. But what you are going to do next is press F2. This is for gameplay only. Press F2. 
F2 will now change the perspective to what's known as the spectator view and increases the field of view so it's much easier and much better looking for someone to watch. So let's go ahead and dive right into a level. Well, here we go in my legendary room where the magic happens, but let's take a look at our book. So let's bring up the book. And here you have a ton of different options. So what you're going to do is go into view. Under view, you'll see things like touch highlighter, HUD highlighter. What I want you to do is hide all of this nonsense. So hide the touch highlighter, hide the HUD highlighter, distant hide, health vignette disabled, comfort vignette disabled, external view disabled. So what does that mean for us? That means that when I'm grabbing things, you don't have those obnoxious hues that pop up. I can just go ahead and grab this one. And I know that I can grab it because I've been playing Blade and Sorcery for a while. Hopefully if you're creating content, you have also been playing Blade and Sorcery for a little while, but you won't need these things. You'll, you'll know where to grab and what to pick up and what can be lifted and what can't be lifted. And finally, last but not least, and this can be important depending on your video style, let's set up a spectator camera. So I'm gonna approach my keyboard again and I'm gonna look with my human face at where I wanna position my camera. I'm gonna stand about here and using my HMD, I'm gonna to look to where I wanna go. So I wanna face my fireplace. I'm gonna press F3. F3 now sets up this cool, funky looking spectator ball, which you can't see right now because uh, I switched my perspective. But anyway, so now that I switched the perspective, you can see me over here and I can position myself into frame, you know, about where you can see me from the chest up. This is called the magic view, you know, perfectly in, in frame. This is kind of like the golden position. But that's how you set up spectator camera. I hope that this video helps you guys out. It helps you with OBS, it helps you with recording and everything. This should be the bare minimum that you use to kind of set everything up before you go and record. So go ahead and practice these sessions and you can make some fantastic blade and sorcery videos. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're not already. Go ahead and let's join up. Uh, leave a comment, leave me a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it. Other than that, I'm Rob from Downloadable Content. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you in the next video.